Hi guys, so recently your maze kit has actually been changed up a bit. But uh, it's really just a few swap arounds between her skill and talent. And also maybe a few buffs to her character. And I, I think her light cone also got buff. I think uh, Dr. Ratio also seems to got, have gotten a buff too. But uh, here, let me show you on this website that uh, my friend brought up to me to show. Here's Joy May. And uh, at first you don't really notice the difference because she kind of basically does the same thing. But you know, same normal attack. Okay, but here's the change. The skill before it only lasted for two turns. Now it lasts for three turns. <laughs> and decreases by one every time uh, your May takes a turn. Which is the same, and another change is that uh, instead of giving a speed buff, this time they give a damage buff, which is pretty insane. And, like, could you imagine a skill that gives you 32% more damage for all allies and also break efficiency by 50%? Yeah, she is. Uh, I'd say this is so such a good character now that. I think it's like S rank, it's probably one of the best pulls you can go for now, now that they changed it. Now what they did was just swap around the talent, because back then, the talent was the thing that gives you the damage buff. Now the talent gives you the speed, so they just really swapped it around, which makes more sense. <laughs> so I guess it isn't much of a buff. But yes, everyone gets the speed, which I think is better on the talent because the speed instantly get uh gets applied to every everyone on the team as long as she's on the field. So that's why I think this is a really good change. Uh, I really don't think anything else changed other than the the constellations because now that her skill lasts for three turns, the first constellation is changed so that. It becomes this. When an ultimate field is deployed, the damage dealt by allies is ignoring 20% of the target's defense. <laughs> I think also the C6 is also changed. Yeah. Well, the first part is the same, where it extends the duration of the ulti by 1. But the second part is changed. Because back then, I mean, um, maybe like a week ago, what it did was every 10% more uh, break you have increases the ultimate's damage by uh, I think 30% or 36% or less I have no idea I forgot but yeah they made a few changes uh, this definitely seems more OP 200% more damage uh, based on the break effect yeah and oh they moved the E1 to E2 so before the old E1 would give 40% attack and also an extra skill turn. Because back then it was uh, only two turns for the skills, but that's really just it. The main, the main change is that they swapped the skill of the talent. Okay, and uh, there is a really big change in the light cone. Let me show you the light cone. Uh, it was a harmony, past self in the mirror. Okay, over here. So what they did was, they did the energy thing, 0.6 energy for the wearer at the start of each wave. Uh, I don't know why it became, it might be a typo because this seems like, like, what is 0.6 energy, <laughs> but whatever. But here's the big part, 24% more damage. Back then the light cone only gives you 15%, they increased it by 9% more, which is huge. If you think about it, that's Fushuan's light cone addition. So yeah, and also increases um, the penetration by 300%, which uh, sounds large, but I have no idea what they're talking about. The only penetration in the game that happens when Ryuanmei is added, it's probably her ultimate, so maybe this applies to her ulti only, and lasts for 2 turns. Uh, this part doesn't make sense either because uh, her skill lasts for three turns, and the old, the old effect lasts for three turns. So maybe they'll change this again. 
but it is what it is. It sounds better now, but uh, maybe it'll change again. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go to Dr. Ratio because he also got a change. Alright, so what they changed about him is that his skill doesn't actually give him the talent anymore. Before his skill procs his talent based on how many debuffs the enemy has, now it only does damage 150% at level 10. Which kind of seems like a nerf to his skill. But they changed his talent, yeah. They nerfed his skill, but they changed the talent a lot. Whenever this is his talent, whenever he uses his skill, he has a 40% chance of launching a follow-up attack on his target one time, dealing up to 270% at level 10 of Dr. Ratio's attack. Okay. For each debuff the enemy has, the, the fixed chance of launching the follow-up attack is increased by 20%. So Yep, you only have 40% if the monster has no debuffs on, but every debuff you have adds another 20% of, of a chance of a follow-up attack. So you really want to have that uh, debuff on the enemies, or else you won't be able to get off this follow-up attack. If the target is defeated before the follow-up attack triggers, it launches on the other enemy. Okay. So yeah, they, they changed the big time. They changed Dr. Ratio's kit. So now you just really want to spam his skill. That's all you want to do on him. Spam his skill and have a team that has a lot of deep, like at least two debuffs, I think. Did it say a maximum? No, it doesn't have a maximum. So there's like no maximum. So you kind of just want two debuffs, I'm guessing, because that's like 80% chance. His ultimate, he triggered twice. Okay, so what his ultimate does is basically guarantee the uh, follow-up attack. I'm guessing it does bonus damage, a bonus of 240, additional to 270, kind of like how um, Clara is whenever she uses her ulti. I have a feeling they're changing it again because this doesn't match up. Like if... He his whole talent is about applying a 40% chance on his skill to use the follow-up. Then the ulti is kind of wasted because if the enemy already has debuffs and it makes up more than 100% then the ulti doesn't really do anything other than give you the damage but it doesn't really say that. So this is definitely going to receive a change sometime soon in the future. And his light cone, let's see if it if it got any changes. His Lycone is Hunt. Baptism of Pure Dawn. Okay. Increases crit damage by 20%. For every debuff the enemy target has, crit damage dealt uh, against them is increased by 8% up to 3 times, so up to 24% more crit damage. Whenever the wearer attacks the target with their ultimate, Wearer receives Disputation effect, increases damage dealt by 36% and follow-ups to ignore 24% of the target's defense and lasts for 2 turns. So it's in line with his ultimate because his ultimate also lasts for 2 turns. So it basically buffs the 2 follow-up attacks that his ultimate applies. I'd say the weapon is... It's okay. I wouldn't say this is a must roll because... 20% crit damage and you need um, 3 more debuffs which is 24% so it's up to 44% more crit damage. I feel like that's, yeah, that's nowhere as good as some other ones that I've seen before. But yeah, yeah this, uh, if I do roll for Dr. Ratio I'm probably gonna skip this weapon. I have other options I think. But yeah, that, that's just really the changes, so I feel like both of them really got a buff. Uh, Yoenbei definitely got the buff. Her light cone seems stronger and uh, kind of overtuned actually to the point. But Dr. Ratio, um, his talent is kind of a buff because back before you couldn't really apply follow up. And this is like a big deal because now you could apply follow up on his skill. 
but they did nerf the damage of the skill. And now his ultimate is kind of useless now, so it's like a buff and some weird nerf. But yeah, that's just it, I think. I hope they change it soon, 